Emily's 14, Hunter's 12. We had an old school bus that Emily and Hunter were living in. Space heater malfunction and catch fire and they lost everything they had. We acquired a new school bus. We've already insulated and put a new subfloor in and put in linoleum. We used some freezer panels. We just had those laying around, so we thought they'd make a really great wall. Yeah, they're good. They're four inches thick of insulation. We're trying to build this bus the best that we can for our kids, but we're like most Americans and we live paycheck to paycheck. This is not an expense that we had planned to have before we moved to Arkansas. They already had another bus that was done and they were living in it and they were happy about it, um, but accidents happen, things happen, and here we are rebuilding again. That sucker ain't going nowhere. We used two sticks of half inch pipe, the black pipe, which is what they recommend for uh, liquid propane and natural gas. And then we have this uh, half inch T right here. We're gonna hook this T up to our big propane tank. Um, as you can see, there's Teflon tape on all of these joints because none of them are flared. And then we use these, I don't know what these are called, but we put these on here um, to hold this nice and tight up against the bus to keep it from moving around when it's driven and that's just extra safety to keep it exactly where we want it they look like they stick out a little too far but by the time we build a wall that's almost perfect oh yeah heck yeah so for anybody who doesn't know how to install one of these little gas heaters so we just run a half inch uh black pipe through the wall and the little kit we bought come with a shut off valve the metal line and the line that fits into the bottom of the heater, so it's a three eighths in the bottom of the heater and a half inch hose fitting, uh, flare fitting. And then the hose just connects. And now we have a shut off valve here where we can shut each one off individually. Emmy's gonna have the same thing in her side. And, and the it's that simple. Which ends do you have to use uh, the Teflon tape on? So you use the Teflon tape on any threaded end other than the the flared ends. Flared ends, because the flared ends are built built to seal themselves. So Okay. So you only needed it to hook it up to the black pipe, the right? The black pipe and into the bottom of the heater. Okay. But the hose didn't need any. No. Okay, all right. Just for anybody who didn't know how to install one of these things. It's fairly simple. Especially for somebody who knows how to do it. <laughs> Alright, this one's done. Are we moving to Emmy's side now? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. As close as you can get it to the door as possible, I think would be better so that it's... Just gives her room. Yeah. Well, it takes up less wall space if it's at the end of the wall than yeah, in the middle right. of the wall, I think.
we got the heaters installed and the bus. Uh, the next step is getting this big gooseneck trailer moved out of the way. This thing's been taking up real estate in our yard for about a month now. Um, that's a new, that's another video that's gonna come out on Wiley's channel pretty soon is he, uh, we had to buy, a, we had to put some money into this trailer the last time we were gonna take it to Arkansas. Uh, we had stopped to get a tire repaired on it and realized that it was, we had problems bigger than just the tire. So we had to replace um, all the leaf spring hangers and some other things. So Wiley went ahead and installed trailer brakes on it, um, which it didn't have before and it really needed them. So this has been sitting here for long enough. I'm really happy to get this thing moved out of the way. Um, yeah, you better hold on to that. And then um, after we get this gooseneck moved, we have a couple trailers in the back back here that we need to get out of here. Well, I don't know if we really have to or not. We could probably move some things around. I'm kind of afraid that if we get the, when we put the bus where we want to put it, that we won't have access to our trailers that are in the backyard. Um, so we're just going to have to see. Wiley's pretty confident that uh, he can make it work and I'm confident in his confidence. So, however, here is our big giant uh, this is a 500 gallon propane tank and we the goal is to get the school bus within about eight feet of this because we only bought 10 feet of copper line and so we need yeah it has to be really close to this so we're just gonna tie you all see all this in a minute but we're gonna take this off right here this is our regulator and we're gonna take this apart right here and we're going to install a T so that we can tee it off to the school bus. And then the school bus is ready for the kids to stay in. Although we really still wanna do some work. Um, we still have lighting to install. Uh, we need to put in electrical outlets and we need to finish the interior. But we still need to insulate the ceiling and the walls. Uh, we need to cover up quite a few of the windows. Um, it's not really, wise to keep all of those windows for the sake of efficiency. We're gonna choose to use paneling um, because we believe that it will be more flexible than sheetrock. We don't want to have to finish or fix a bunch of cracks and stuff when we get this thing to Arkansas. So those are future projects. Although now the bus is to the point where the kids can stay in it and they can be comfortable, they can stay warm and that kind of thing. So I don't know how much more progress we are going to get done on this school bus before we move to Arkansas, but it is at a point where they can stay in it safely and that's what really matters. So uh, we do have two other school buses that we need to do work on also before we move to Arkansas. Um, so I don't know if we're going to be able to completely finish out Emily and Hunter's school bus before then, but we're going to do what we can. So anywho, um, I'll be right back with you guys. Wiley's moving trailers out of the way. I'll be right back with y'all when it's time to hook the bus up to the propane tank um, so that y'all can see how we do that. So yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> well, thank you for educating me. <laughs> So we had to put a T in here to be able to feed propane out to that. And all I had to do was tear this apart and put a T in it. Okay, and everything's got Teflon on it? Yep. yep. Uh, in case you wonder why we're kind of putting an arch in this, uh, we do not want this on the ground uh, because we're afraid that our coon coon pigs will tear it up or the dogs or something. Um, 
And we're not going to bury it because this is only a temporary thing. We'll be moving to Arkansas. And we'd rather not have to cut this if we didn't, if we don't have to. Now guys, something very important to remember is to put this on first. I can't tell you how many times I've done something like this and then realized that this wasn't on there and you just have to cut the pipe and start over. I'm not exactly sure how this works. So you want to explain to us how it So this is how this works. <laughs> <laughs> You put this on tighten that all down good so does that have to be flush or do you have it sticking out just a little bit you got it sticking out just a little bit okay. and then that little bevel goes down and into that pipe now it's flared There's that. Okay. Fingers are crossed. Now let's hope nothing blows up. Now explain why are you doing this? Why are you spraying it? Chicken for leaks. All looks good. Okay, you have to let it settle, let it, let it sit here for a minute. It's got to get all there out of all that line. See, if we had seen bubbles before, we would have known there was a leak. Now we know there's a leak because why wow, they just loosened it. sit there and do that for a minute till it clears out good. I bet this will warm it up in here in no time, huh? Yeah. All good. Yeah. Both of them's on. Both of them's getting heat now. This is Emily's bedroom, y'all. It's not 100% done yet. We still need to do some stuff on the wall. Um, and then she wants to build a bookshelf the whole length of the wall all the way up. And there'll be a little shelf at the end of the bed over there so what do we have left wiley what do you think i mean to, to complete it to complete it yes well, i mean that's going to be putting studs up with insulation in between all the studs um and then figuring out what we're going to do for uh interior wall so paneling sheetrock whatever i don't think i'm going to do sheetrock simply because i think the trip from here to arkansas would probably break all the seams so yeah. I'm just going to do probably paneling or, you know, we may wind up just milling wood and doing wood slabs or I don't, you know. We're not sure yet. Depending on. We also uh, need to figure out lights. Yeah. Lighting. And run electrical outlets and things like that. I mean, which that could simply be just because I know we're going to do, I'm going to leave this all 12 volt. So everything in here, they're not going to have one 120 volt electricity in here. Or it's, 110. It's or 110. 10, right? Well, it's 120 volt. Okay. Um, we're not going to have 120 volt electricity in here. We're going to have 12 volt. So they're going to be run off, off of solar and it's going to be 12 volt system. So I may just put a couple of USB plugs back here and hook them up to the 12 volt system. And 
we may wind up just with, you know, uh, like a lamp that'll plug into a USB port. You know, something like that would be... We, when we move to Arkansas, we will be living off-grid. And so um, electricity is going to be very limited. And the kids don't have any big appliances that they need to plug in anyway. So they just have... Emily has a, a cell phone and... Um, they each have a tablet that they'd want to charge. We still have those things to figure out. So lighting, electrical, interior walls. Um, we are eventually going to cover a bunch of these windows because they, it's, they're not efficient at well, all. Once we do interior walls, we're going to designate a, a couple of windows to leave, but we're going to insulate and cover over the top of these windows. And we're going to do the same thing on the outside. I'm going to put uh, metal covering the windows all on the outside with maybe some insulation in between the window and the metal also. So the problem with these bus windows is they leak real bad. They condensate. And they're just single pane glass windows. So they are not energy efficient at right. all. We've only been had this heater on for maybe five minutes. And it's already warmed up quite a bit in here that I'm not sh to the point yes. I'm not shivering anymore. But anyway, guys, I guess that's it for today. You got anything else, Wiley? I think that's it. All right. Well, we love you guys. We've accomplished quite a bit on this bus. And now, I mean, technically the kids could live in here yeah. and stay warm. The kids can be uh, comfortable in here, but as we've still got a lot to do. But I mean, to finish it out, but they can stay in here and be okay. Right. And as far as electricity goes, now if they want to have a phone or a tablet out here and charge it, they're just going to have to run an extension cord through the door or window or something. Right. But it's just an extension cord will be totally okay because it's just a phone or tablet or something like that. So until we get it finished the rest of the way out. But we will keep you guys up to date and informed on our progress. It's always either time or money. You don't have enough time or you don't have enough money. All right. Well, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more about this build, please don't forget to check out this playlist or the video. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Yep, we appreciate your feedback. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next video.